There was a popular pastor who said this as he was talking about how to reach this new culture, and this kind of goes back to some of yesterday's symposium. But he basically said, sin doesn't resonate in this culture. He struggled to reach people in cities by talking about sin. And so he wanted to remain faithful to Scripture, but he just stopped talking about sin, and he started talking about idols and idolatry, because that seemed to resonate better with people. Well, that's true. Every sin involves idolatry. And every sin involves brokenness, and every sin involves unbelief. But each one on their own is not encompassing of sin, because sin is first and foremost rebellion against the holy God. It doesn't surprise me that sin doesn't resonate with our culture. That they don't want to hear they're sinners, they don't understand what that is. By the way, I don't believe that for one second. Because even the most hardened, atheistic, progressive person in the culture, if you hit them or steal from them, they will want justice and they know exactly what sin is. And Romans 1 says, in our hearts, we know what sin is. Same pastor, when asked why, what's the big deal with, you know, uh, homosexual behavior and gay marriage? What's the big deal with it? The pastor said publicly, it's his moment. It's not God's best for you. Who is he, Joel Osteen? Yes, sin is not God's best for you. But that's not why it's wrong. Sin is first disobedience and rebellion against a holy God. 